This is Junior Roberts from realjuniorroberts.com. In this video, we'll be looking at how to read a schematic diagram in electronics, so stay tuned. Okay, so a schematic diagram is very widely used in electronics. And what a schematic diagram is, is just a basic representat representation of the circuit components used and how they are connected in that circuit. Now, in order to read a schematic diagram, there must be a basic understanding of what symbols in the schematic, what the symbols in the schematic diagrams represent. And these symbols are called schematic symbols. Now, if you are unaware of what schematic symbols are, I have done a video outlining some of the more common schematic diagrams. I will put a link somewhere around this video for you to check that out. We'll start by looking at this schematic diagram. And this schematic diagram is the schematic diagram of a A-stable multivibrator, which uh, actually controls these two uh, LEDs. Now, so let's start uh, looking at the, the circuit symbols here. So at first, we have a DC source, which represents um, a 9 volt uh, battery because uh, we have two cells connected in series, two 4.5 volts cells connected in series, so we get uh, a 9 volt supply here. Then we also then we have a switch, which is a single pole, single throw switch, which actually activates this circuit. Then we have a diode here which is a light emitting diode. We have another light emitting diode here, and we have a few resistors connected, and also a couple transistors and a couple uh, capacitors. So let's talk about the connections here. So some of the more common basic connections are these here, referred to as nodes, right? And uh, they basically indicate a junction of three or more wires. So where there's a dot usually indicates a node and that means that all the three or more wires which actually, which actually goes into that dot are connected. So for example, these here would be connected. These four wires here would be connected. Now, for here now, since we don't have a, a dot, this does not represent a node or a junction of connections. So these wires actually overlap so they are not connected here. Now, I also want to point out some of the connections here. So as you can see, the diode here and the resistor are connected at the same point. So we can say that this diode and this resistor here is in a parallel connection because uh, they both receive the same voltage at this point here. So they are connected in parallel as well as these two here are connected in parallel. However, this resistor here and this capacitor here is connected in series, right? Also, this resistor here, this resistor here, and this capacitor is connected in series. Likewise, the battery here is connected in series with the switch. So we have a couple series connections and a couple parallel connections. So also should point out on this uh, thing here, is our ground signal which is basically the reference point it is usually zero volts and I will make reference to any other voltage in the circuit uh, based on on what this reference voltage is which is zero All right so here the voltage here is 9 volts since it is 9 volts greater than our reference voltage here so this is a basic schematic symbol, a basic schematic diagram. So as it is, um, we also we actually see how the circuit symbols are connected. Now, this is not necessarily the, how the final product will look in terms of when we actually build the circuit. We might have choose to rearrange the location of these circuits, circuit symbols and keeping in mind the connections. Right, so we might move this over here and the circuit will still uh, be the same. We might, might move this here, and the circuit again will still remain the same. Now, I know you have actually um, been watching this video now, been wondering if 
you will actually see something exciting. So what I'm going to do is actually activate the circuit here and let us see what will happen. Okay, so after activating the circuit, we see that both LED begins to flash. So this one is on, and this one comes on, and this one is off, and it goes back and forth. And what this circuit is, is a a stable multivibrator being controlled by these these two transistors. Now I might not go into the exact details of the workings of this because uh, the scope of that theory might be outside of this this basic introductory video, right? Uh, so again, those are some common things to 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 be on the lookout for when reading schematic diagrams. If there was anything in this video that you wish to get, wish to get uh, further clarification on, feel free to send me an email to junior at realjuniorroberts.com or post them in the comments below. Also, if you, if you wish to share this, you can uh, feel free to share it uh, in, on any one of your favorite social media platforms. Thank you for watching.